Hey everybody, today I'm riding the Black Loop at Sunfish Lake in Lake Elmo, Minnesota. Now this is a short loop, it's only two miles long, but it is packed with features. The Black Loop is tucked away in the northwest corner of the trail system. To get there, we're going to follow this green trail to the Blue Loop, and then follow the Blue Loop to the Black Loop. Luckily, the trails have more creativity than the trail names. You'll know you've reached the Black Loop when you see this intersection. From here, you're good to go. There we are at the Black Loop, Sunfish Lake. We're getting ready for the first feature here. Getting the right gear. This is one you gotta really pedal for. Oh, I always case that. That was not a particularly good one. Coming up to that rainbow bridge. First thing in the sequence is a slow rock top. And then you want to be in kind of an easy gear for this. You're going to come off of this ladder. You got to slow down and be in an easy gear to pedal up and over this thing. There we go. A little sloppy. Curious to know how your suspension feels when it bottoms out? Sunfish has a feature for you. All right, you gotta pedal for this one. There's a little gap coming up here at the bottom. Pedal, pedal, pedal. So it seems to me that the jumps here don't have a ton of pop. So you really gotta go fast to clear them, at least, at least I do. Um, I'm not that good at popping jumps to begin with, so may work out differently for you. This is another one. I want to be in a pretty tall gear. Carry some speed through this thing. Jump! Jump! Uh, is that pretty good? Then you come into this section, slow down. This is a real slow maneuver here. Whoa! I don't really know what's going on here on the left. Slow speed feature, it's kind of tricky. Cause you gotta pedal up this hill, drop your saddle, get in the right gear, pedal, pedal, jump. And then you wanna be on it for this section. Over here, drop, turn, Jump! Oh. Yep, no landing.
You can't deny that this trail is fun. They have really packed an impressive number of features into a pretty small space. There's a little bit of wonkiness in this trail, a little bit of jank. Some things don't seem kind of spaced correctly in my opinion. And some of the shapes of things is a little weird. And there's a couple of features that I just don't seem well thought out. Um, when this trail first opened, that rainbow bridge just had a flat landing. Like there was no landing. You just dropped off the end of it to flat. That kind of sucked. But stuff like that is starting to get fixed and worked out. And that's to be expected. But I like jank and I like a little bit of wonkiness. I think it adds to the fun when everything isn't super polished. Coming up to the power line section here. I like this section, it's pretty fun. I like a little fast section. Start by hopping over that rock. Take a turn. Don't hit that thing on the left, it's dumb. Doing this thing on the right is okay, but it's such up a little bit wonky for this jump. That's all right though, still doable. Okay, carry some speed through here. We come out into the headwind. Double, and we're done. through here to the end of the trail and that's the sunfish block loop